Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Miss Ashley here with your news to you, Tom, this last Friday of our news time. And so today we are going to finish up talking about 2020 graduation ceremonies. And then um, you won't have any more news to you videos for a while. We may do some stuff over the summer, maybe some breaking news, or if there's anything that I just think that um, you guys may be interested in. We may do one every once in a while, but you won't have one every day like we have been. So today we're going to review our newspaper. Then we're going to do... Um, person in the spotlight. We're going to read some more about that. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do is do some Joey's Locker activity. So I can't see the time on this thing. So if I just feel like we're going way over, then I'll stop it. But hopefully we can get through those three things. So here we go. All right, so what are we talking about this week? Remember, the what is the main idea. It's the big thing that we're talking about, and it goes right in the middle of our webbing activity. Okay, so what are we talking about this week? Here's your choices. 2020. Let's see if it says it that way. It might help if I turn the volume up. 2020. Yeah, so I wasn't sure if it said 2020 or 2020. So 2020, celebrate seniors, seniors, schools, or 2020 graduation ceremonies. What is our main idea, the big idea that needs to go in the middle of our webbing map? Our main idea, here's a hint, it's the title. Is the title of our newsletter this week is 2020 Graduation Ceremonies. Alrighty, so let's do, let's work this way. Well, let's go in a clockwise. So clock is, clockwise is like you're looking at the um, hands of the clock. So who are we talking about? So remember a who is a person or people. So who are we talking about? Which one of these is a person or people, a group of people? 2020, celebrate seniors. Seniors or schools? And here's a clue. It was our people in the news this week. Seniors. We're talking about seniors all week. Congratulations, seniors. All right, where? Remember, where is a place. So which one of these is a place? Where are these seniors graduating from? 2020, celebrate seniors or schools? They're graduating from schools. And I just want to point out this week we've talked about singular words versus plural words. So I see an S on ceremonies, seniors, schools, celebrate seniors. So those are all plural. There's more than one. You see how there's more than one symbol icon? There's more than one senior there. Okay, when are we talking about this? Remember, when is a time. When? Are we talking about it in 2020 or in celebrate seniors? When? Which one's a time? 2020. So we're talking about them graduating this year because this is 2020. And then why? I always save that one to last because it's the hardest. Why questions are hard? Has your parents ever said, I know that you took that last cookie and you weren't supposed to. Why did you do that? And you're like, well, I don't know why I did that. I'm not sure. Sometimes our brains are always our brains. That's the last thing developmentally that, that we understand is the why. So we may know the what, the who, the where, and the when, but why? That's a hard concept. Why are things that we've talked about in the breaking news happening? Why um, are decisions made? Kind of like taking the cookie. I don't know. Sometimes it just happens and we have to think through the why. 
So why are we talking about 2020 graduation ceremonies? Because we're celebrating those seniors. It would be really hard if you got to your last year of school and then it was, it was, you couldn't go because of the coronavirus. So we want to make sure that we are celebrating these seniors in these special ways. Just like we've tried to celebrate you guys, the ones that are moving up, um, in special ways. So, really quick, what are we talking about? The 2020 graduation ceremonies. Because the seniors are graduating from schools this year in 2020. And we want to celebrate them. So this is a really nice infographic. Um, parents, I will share with you a blank one of these in the summer support. So if there are um, breaking news, if there's maybe something going on in your family, like say uh, you have a special trip or somebody's having a birthday and it's going to look a little bit different this year, or you maybe want to talk about going back to school because that will be here before we know it because we're starting early this year. And once we know what that looks like, this is a really nice graphic that you can plug in for, for your kids. So even if they're not making the choices, you can plug it in. Here's what's happening. Here's who it involves. This is where it's going to be. When is it happening? And why are we doing it? So I would love to help you um, with this mapping activity. I can help with symbol icons. Um, if the who is, is you or your child, um, you guys could take pictures and put them there. But if you need help with symbol icons, let me know. Because right now we have access to that symbol sticks. We always have something called Board Maker that we purchased. It's on a CD, it's a little bit different, but Symbol Sticks is actually online and we have access to that right now. So let's use that resource because it's very much current um, things that are in the news. It has um, concepts for even like your middle school or in high school or if something's going on that's a little bit more difficult, you're just not sure how to talk about it, you need some symbols, um, let us know and we can help you do that. Okay. Let's take a look at our spotlight. Who's going to be in our spotlight today? I bet I can tell you. Ooh, that was surprising. I thought we were going to be talking about seniors. If I remember this, because I reviewed it before we did it last week. So today we're going to be talking about job coaches. Boy, this would be a fun job. This would be something I would like to do. So here is a picture of somebody that may be a job coach, and we're going to talk about what that means. And this is a story by Molly Bose. Let's see if it'll read it to us. Well, I'm just going to assume that's how you say her last name. By Molly Bose. Spotlight on job coaches. If you have had friends in high school, this is a big part of high school. This is a big part of what my husband does with his kids in the occupational course of study program at the high school is helping them get ready for the future. But it is not too early for us to start talking now about things that you may like to do. Um, I know some of you would probably like to be firefighters. I know some of you guys would probably like to be train conductors. I know some of you guys would love to be teachers. Or maybe you would like to do something like work in fast food. Or you may like to do something like um, help with animals, like the therapeutic horseback riding program. Or maybe be a lifeguard at the swimming pool. These are all things that I know you guys have been interested in. There are so many jobs out there. So right now we can go ahead and start thinking about that, right? So job coaches help, ah, there's that symbol icon, people plan for the future. Maybe I need a job coach. I was kidding. I love my job. All right, so here's a picture of somebody helping them see what's next in their career path. So before you do a job, you might need school. You might need training. How many times have I had to tell you guys, not a lot, but a couple times this year I've had to say, you know, we did our calendar time, we'd have to sit down and say, um, 
okay, Miss Ashley's not going to be here the next day, and Miss April's going to be here instead as your substitute because I'm going to a training. I need to learn how to do something so that I can do better for you. Well, that training is part of the job, and sometimes the training comes before the job. So many job coaches work with students. So look, this is a picture of a job coach, and I'm assuming that's the student there, and they're working on something that has to do with the student's future. Students need plans after they graduate. They also need plans before they graduate. But, you know, right now your job and... Sophie's job and Madden's job and Mary Grace's job and if you have brothers and sisters in school their job right now is to go to school that's the job that you have right now is to go to school but what happens after you leave school and you're done like you've taken all your tests you have learned everything that you're going to learn um, in the public school system what happens we need to plan for that Oh, and let me go back and show you. This is a graduate. That was one of our vocabulary words. He looks all happy. Job coaches meet with students. And so here's another picture of a job coach that's helping a student plan. They're meeting together. Job coaches talk about what students like. So here's another picture of a job coach, and they're talking to students about what they like, which is our job right now. You know, before you guys came into kindergarten, I asked your parents, what is your child like? And I found out, you know what you guys like? I found out some of you like trains, choo-choos. I found out some of you guys like playing Crazy 8. I learned that you guys like playing dolls and playing house and playing kitchen. And I learned that you guys like sensory things. And so we were able to bring a lot of that stuff in so that we could use that um, in our lessons. So the reason why job coaches talk to students is to see what they like, to see what maybe they want to do. Because what if I, what if I talk to you and I said, um, or you said, I really like um, firefighting, and I want to be a firefighter, and I'm really into fighting fires, and, um, you know, I want to be able to drive the fire truck, and then I was like, okay, well, let's put you on the job at the farm. You know, it's, it's important to take into consideration what you like. I would not be happy doing another job. I love teaching. So if I had to go every day and maybe work um, as a doctor or a nurse who are wonderful, I wouldn't be happy doing that because I'm not good at it. So it's important that we do what we're good at and we are prepared to do that as a job. So job coaches, it says they, but we're talking about job coaches, talk about skills students have. So how many times has Miss Mary or um, one of our other instructional assistants or your teacher said, oh boy, you are so good at building. Maybe you can be a constructor when you get older or maybe you can be a designer for building. So I know your parents notice things that you're good at too, but we notice it too. You have lots of strengths and skills which are things that you're good at that maybe not everybody's good at. They may help students get more skills. So like the things that, that I was good at um, with teaching was fun, but then the things that I was not good at, I needed to go take some more classes. I need to figure it out before I was on the job, right? So it looks like this person in um, this picture is maybe getting skills about building. I would need skills if I was having to build something. Oh, job coaches talk about different jobs. So remember the career fair? We didn't get we didn't get to do that this year. We always do that with our first graders. We didn't get to do it. Hopefully next year. We usually have a bunch of people come around and talk about different jobs and we get to go outside and explore some different vehicles and things like that. And they come into different classrooms and we get to go around. So job coaches can also tell you about different kind of jobs that maybe you didn't know about. 
right? So here's some healthcare workers. We've talked about those, like, recently. Here's a picture of some firefighters, but maybe there's jobs you've never even heard about. There's probably jobs I've never even heard about. They help students make choices. So maybe um, you can explore some different uh, jobs and then pick, the, pick your favorites so you can make choices. And job coaches help students find jobs. And like I said, I know that my husband does that. That's part of his um, work that he does because I've heard him on the phone um, talking students through doing applications and, and um, helping them find places that we're hiring right now. And so that's part of it. Oh, this looks fun. Job coaches help students learn to do their jobs. Okay, maybe if I wasn't a teacher, I would like to be a baker. That looks fun. And it said, would you like to be a job coach? So, you know what? Being a job coach is a job. So, if you like helping people and you like helping people be successful and finding jobs, maybe a job coach is the right job for you. Okay, here's a couple questions. Who, so we're talking about a person, was this story about? Was it about animal trainers? Well, that'd be fun. Job coaches or farmers? It's about job coaches. Job coaches. I forgot about farmers. Maybe some of you guys are good at growing things. That'd be a great job. Did you like the story? Your choices are, yes, I like the story, Miss Ashley. No, Miss Ashley, I didn't like that story. Or, eh, it's all right, maybe. I'm going to say, yes, I like this story. Because yes. I did. I don't always like the story, but I like that one. You can put no. It's okay. It's okay to not like the story. And it's okay to say, I didn't like that, right? Like when we do our recipe review, if you say, I didn't like that, that's fun. So choose the pictures about the story. Did we talk about graduate? We talked about graduates getting Graduate. Do we talk about a job? I hope so. It was in the title, job coaches. Job. Do we talk about the weather? Do we talk about the weather? Not during this session, did we? We did a little bit earlier today. Weather. So, nope. We didn't talk about it. So, here's a couple of questions, and I'll put these questions up when I put up the video. What job would you like to learn about and why? And what skills do you have? So, if you need help knowing what kind of skills you have, just ask me. I'd love to tell you what I have observed you guys doing very well. And ask your parents and maybe your siblings. Um... What kind of skills do I have? What am I good at? Because I know that they would love to tell you. So, guys, I think we're running late on time. I will go back and do a couple of, um, well, I may pull out some stuff to do an enrichment video. Um, but all of this information is in our files, so you can find it there. And I'm going to pull a couple things from news to you to put in our summer support. So, um some different things that you can do for that. So I love you guys. I cannot wait to continue working with you guys on your track to graduating and getting jobs. That is such a, um, as a teacher, like that is our biggest, it's not our accomplishment, it's your accomplishment, but it's our biggest sense of pride is seeing one of our little kids all grown up and they're graduating now. And now I'm old enough to see some of my kids graduating. So fully expect to be invited to your graduations when you graduate and I would love to come see you on your job so by then I may be like old and it might be hard to get around but I'll be there so love you guys enjoy your Friday and I'll see you in a little bit